for BC, Curtis Del Monaco in the front row, Connor Sampson and Jack McWilliam, Nakai Penny and James Carson in the second row with Nick Allen, Jason Hignall, and Luke Bradley making up the back row trio. Andrew O'Connor and Wes Wong, scrum half, fly half combo. Cathal Long on one wing and Jack Nyron on the other. Gino Palella is in the centers with Phil Berna. Sean Hayes is your fullback. For the uh, Wolfpack, Luke LaPlante, DeWald Coetzee, and Bryce Colquan. Paul Grattan and Nathan Grieg in the second row. Eric Jensen and Sullivan Abbott are the blind side, open side pairing. And Shane Thiessen is the number eight. Jack Hughes is scrum half with Avery Vandenberg at fly half. Darian Morrison and Emerson Padley will center, be the center pairing. And Aaron Evison on one wing. Oliver White on the other. Liam O'Hallahan at fullback. He was on the wing earlier this week. So it looked like it was going to threaten with some rain today, and it did for the briefest of moments as we first got here this morning. But uh, things improving remarkably over the afternoon. Mostly the wind is the uh, big issue. Well, folks, we had uh, a lot of problems with um, Internet connectivity last game, so we've, we've stepped the signal down a little bit to uh, ease the upload and hopefully that'll help it mean for make for a bit of a grainier picture but uh, you know that's uh, the trade-off for seeing the game Karen Lozada is going to be the referee Chris Asmus on one side as assistant referee and uh, just trying to see Sullivan, you ready? Nathan Abdenauer is going to be the assistant referee on the far side <laughs> The Bears have kicked off. Wolfpack with first possession over the 22-meter line. Couple of phases already for the Wolfpack. Rock nearly stole a game against the uh, Wolfpack last night. Last play of the game, they had a chance to score a try and came up just short. Spilled ball. What can BC do with it now? That's Nakai Penny. Sorry, Jack McWilliam, the uh, tight head with it. Now, Eric Jensen has taken it up a few. Offload. The speed of this back line is the hooker. DeWald Coetzee gets it. Connor Sampson, rather. Crisp delivery to a trailing, trailing Jack Nyron. Wolfpack have come away with it. Jack Hughes, the scrum half, gets it out to the fly half. Avery Vandenberg gives it a long ride into touch. A big pressure reliever indeed. Taking the touch flag to just inside their own half. Apologize. Picture was off screen there for a moment. Let's have a little gap, okay? A little gap before the set. This is the first scrum. 
Stop being gay, it's okay? We'll hear from Lozada. Excuse me, can you call him a loud? Yep. Hey, thank you. Edmonton, Edmonton. 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 Edmonton.
Connor Sampson crashing through the line. He's finally brought to ground. These guys not leaving anything on the field today. Wes Wong, delayed pass into the line. Gino Palella. Pass just a little bit behind Nick Allen. He gathers it in. Back foot. Wong going right now. Phil Berna. He's a name that's been talked about a lot. Oh, and he's put a foot into touch. Thought he might be uh, in for a score, but touch flag goes up on that far side. So just misses uh, finishing off with a flourish. Wolfpack with the throw in. They secure it. Now crashing through Shane Thiessen. That ball hacked on by a Wolfpack player. Bears trying to secure it, but they left their feet. The Wolfpack did as the ruck was formed. Quick tap taken by the Bears. That's Luke Bradley. He's a big boy to try and bring down. Cathal Long, he stopped just short. Ironically. Connor Sampson at the line. Oh, and that is still held up. A remarkable job by the Wolfpack defender as it looked like back to the penalty too ready we're not back 10 i'm not going to run there we're not going a 22 to or is that a penalty try what that's odd going back for a penalty okay so the Bears are going to go for the scrum. Good call. Tie up all those forwards from the Prairie Wolf Pack. They're in a tantalizing position field-wise, just six meters out. That was really stupendous uh, defending by the Wolf Pack player. Denying the ball from being touched down. Oh, no, that's fine. That's Scrum getting stood up now, and that's a penalty against the Bears, and so the Wolfpack rightfully thrilled with that outcome. Their forwards popping up the BC front row, and that is a big pressure reliever to not have them parked in their uh, front yard like that. That ball given a ride to touch by Vandenberg. It'll be a BC line out, or sorry, no, off the penalty. It'll be a Wolfpack line out, of course. Play. Clean transfer from the line. Vandenberg, he's found a half gap. Oh, spills the ball in the tackle. No advantage. They'll take the scrum. Scrum getting settled down now. BC, another good chance here. Picked up by Bradley. Now coming into the line is fullback Sean Hayes. Penalty. 
Not releasing the ball after he was tackled. So BC beat the Voyagers 56 to five to open their tournament. And then uh, it was a 12-7 win over uh, the Rock yesterday. Thin, thin margin of victory. And they'll wrap it all up against Ontario tomorrow. Ontario's got the day off today. Cutting back inside is inside center Darian Morrison. Well, Allahan, he's bundled into touch, but the ball stays in play. Service uh, from the scrum half. O'Connor. Nick Allen with it now. Three, you've sealed that. Up and through. Penalty against BC. Quick tap caught everyone off guard. And now time off. Let's listen to Karen Lozada. So the tackler is still laying on top of that player, and then this player, I know he's trying to do the right thing. He's laying on top, okay, so I need tackler away. And if he wants to race the ball, he's got to come up a little bit on his feet, okay, not laying on top. Two in a row, be careful. Thanks. So Lozada making it clear, she doesn't want people lying on the ball. you got to be on your feet if you're going to contest it at the ruck. And saying, that's two I've seen. Third one, someone's going. So now the Wolfpack really putting the pressure on. Five meters out from the line, they'll have the line out. Wall Kotze going in. Taken by Grattan, but it's not straight. Oh, critical error. We scrum in 15 for BC now. Now the Wolfpack stood up the BC scrum a few minutes ago. Can they do it again? Draw the penalty. That would be uh, a big help down this end. We're scoreless after 15 minutes, which I think most people would not have you know, supposed as a potential situation. Halfway through the first half, no score. And look at that Wolfpack scrum about to pop them up but the Bears have held possession and now kicking their way out of trouble. Has that, that hasn't gone out that far though. It'll be a line out for the Wolfpack so they're, they're still in decent position. They gotta be aware of the wind and throw accordingly. Cote uh, can't get too many do-overs. Drive on by the Bears. Wolfpack hold on to the ball. Vandenberg does well. Gets it to the fullback. O'Hallahan striding to the try line. Just short now. A meter out.
Pick and drive, put back by the BC defenders. Now a penalty against the Bears. They'll go back. Wolfpack calling for the scrum on the penalty. They like all the real estate they'll get by pulling all those Bears forwards in. And then they're gonna match up well to the right side here, numbers wise. Well, they're not spreading themselves out too much. O'Hallahan in the line. If they lose the ball, he'll drop back and uh, wait any clearance kicks. Wolfpack scrum doing well. Immediately wrapped up is Shane Thiessen. Ball's out now. Darian Morrison. No, no, the ball went in and didn't come out. So it'll be a scrum for BC. And the Wolfpack put the Bears front row under pressure. Pop them up again. Lozada's well, seen enough. Thinks the uh, Wolfpack scrum was uh, coming in from an angle, boring in. Counterattack now, Hallahan, the fullback. He is standing upright, cruising into trouble there. Ball coming back now to the second row. Nathan Greek. Avery Vandenberg goes to ground. He's the fly half. Quick ball now to the second rower. Greek. He's been pounding his way into the line a few times. Kotze now. No knock on. The outside center now. He is stopped. Emerson Padley. DeWald Coche near the line. Not quite there. Driving to the right. Is that going to be a try? No, says Lozada. Many thinking a penalty should have come from that last exchange. Now, numbers right. Oh, if they could have just passed one more. Ferocious defending by the Bears. Wolfpack playing mistake-free rugby right now. O'Hallahan is wrapped up. Is he here across? No. Got numbers, and that'll be a try. Surely that'll be a try from number 11, Aaron Evison. He finally solved that BC defense. Long line of passes ends up in his hands to give the Prairie Wolf back the lead after 20 minutes, 22 minutes now to be specific. Five to nothing, Prairie Wolf Pack. And this hometown support really showing itself with that one. Uh, boy, what a scalp that would be, the Wolf Pack knocking down BC. Uh, this one's far from over, but drawing first blood is a good way to start here. Okay, 
so the conversion is missed. BC will have to regroup, try and get down to the Wolfpack end. And that's out on the full, so it'll go back to halfway. Hard to say, I mean, you look at the trees to our right, and it looks like the wind is at BC's back, but then you look at the touch flags, it looks like it could be at the Prairie Wolfpack's back, so maybe it's meeting somewhere around halfway. Try by Aaron Everson has energized this Wolfpack team and now they have possession at midfield from the uh, botched kickoff. Oh, 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 things starting to break apart there. Quick ball down the line. That's Padley. He's brought to ground. Ball staying Wolfpack side. That's Colquhoun. Oh, just off the fingertips, went back. And now advantage being played. Caffel Long just running over anyone who wants to try and tackle him. He is a big, strong runner, six foot five, bristling with muscles. Now coming away with it, Oliver White nearly broke through for, for good. Coming in support is Eric Jensen. Pass from Hughes. Over there, Nathan. Yeah. Forward pass indicated. Fans calling for an offside, but none coming. BC with that ball. Tackled into touch as Cathal Long. Ball bouncing around and then things getting a little interesting off the ball as uh, Actually, we'll come back to the two line out groups came together. Knock on in the line. Let's go, Bob! Scrum to BC. So, Chris, you stay there. 27 minutes of this opening 30 gone. O'Connor will get this in. Got a penalty coming. Boring in. The call against the front row from BC. It's the second time they've been called for that this game. Keep 
Keep it. That gets to the target, but uh, not straight. McWilliam on the overthrow got it at the back of the line, but BC opting for the line out instead of the scrum. So that's suggesting they are having trouble at scrum time against this Wolfpack team. Most teams opting for the relative precision of a scrum. Quick throw down to the back jumper there, Nakai Penny. They've secured it. Rolling Mall organized now. O'Connor. Luke Bradley with it now. Swinging it back left. They've got numbers, BC does. Nick Allen steps through a couple of tackles. Wong, oh, and off the hands of the hooker, Connor Sampson. What will the Wolfpack do with that error? Oh, it's come out the back, quickly recovered. Drop ball by McWilliam, uh, sorry, not McWilliam, by Colquhoun. O'Hallahan unloads to the wing on the far side. Aaron Evison who scored the opening and only try of this game. Ball coming back right now. Kotze. <laughs> Penalty. Seven, the Not releasing the ball. Five the hooker. I don't think that was Kotze that held on to it. Quick tap ball by BC now. Playing with abandon. We're at the half hour mark. Next stoppage will be halftime. Miscue stays in play, but Cathalong steps into touch. And that will take us to the half. Or will it? Yeah, it is halftime. Okay, so uh, we'll take a quick break here in Regina. We're going to be back with more rugby action. Prairie Wolfpack leading British Columbia five to nothing.
colors and fragrance, it's truly beautiful. And there's plenty of family activities to enjoy, including the Rose Carousel, the Family Discovery Walk, and great dining options. Youth and Child 12 Month Passes make it easier to take it all in now and all year long. The Butchart Gardens. I'm sold, and my ladies love it. Express. We score at the speed of yellow. Rugby Canada is committed to growing the sport of rugby amongst women and girls across the country. So back for second half action here in Regina. The Prairie Wolfpack about to get this game underway. High kick just about 12 meters deep. Wolfpack leading by five. It's been an exciting one. No Sullivan Abbott going into the line. And now big thundering run from Nathan Grieg. Vandenberg gives it a go. Offload to a trailing Emerson Padley. They keep it in play. So close to the touch line. And now a penalty. Let's. I did. Let's go back. Mozada adding some extra instructions. Hands in the ruck. And uh, Avery Vandenberg. Stranger not maybe taking a shot at goal and uh, make that a two score lead. Uh, it's a kick to the corner. We'll get them a nice line out position. Just have to squeeze our camera over on those hard corner shots there. Vandenberg to the inside center, Morrison. They do have an overlap set up on the outside. Oliver White trying to make something happen on the far side. Loose ball into touch. Scrum popping up a little bit. Nice fend off from the back of the BC scrum. That's number eight, Luke Bradley. Wolfpack have been defending staunchly. Wong, he's looped that around and the wind has pushed it back into play. And this is uh, number 11, Aaron Everson, who scored the game's only try. And boom, into the line goes Greek. Hughes links up with the flanker, Jensen. Vandenberg right down the line to Morrison and Padley. White ended up with it over there. 
the winger. He's managed to get himself out of there. Kotze now takes it a couple of steps. Now it's LaPlante into the line. LaPlante's himself there. Vandenberg. Abbott. Emerson. Padley nearly getting across the line there. And that'll be a try. Oliver White gets the try to extend the Wolfpack lead to 10 to nothing. Hometown support excited about this one. Yeah, it's okay. I'll use it. It's an energized Wolfpack team. Many thought uh, the form sheet would suggest BC could run away with this game. Well, that's why we play these. Because on paper, you never know. But when you play them for real, you get your answers. Hughes taking this kick. Hanging that one up in the wind, and it falls just short. So tells you how much that wind is in the face out on the field there. Not really feeling it on the deck because I think the building blocks it. But Big restart from BC. They've got to get their hands in that ball and they'll get it now with the knock on off that kickoff. Disappointment for the pack. Much better here last time, Chris. Much better here last time. They switched up their players here. Come on. Come on. Just a little less. Okay. Gentlemen, let's not pre engage, okay? Scrum here for BC. After this set. Yep, go ahead. Penalty against the BC Bears. Driving down in the scrum. Vandenberg will give this a right footed kick. Take his team to uh, still inside their own half. Nice spin pass has gone loose. Hughes gets it off to the number eight, Thiessen. Oh, and a hand got to that uh, pass from Hughes before he could get rid of it. Right here, right here, yep. Penalty, a new scrum half is uh, Keffer. Cole Keffer is featured in a number of these games as the starter, and he's come in relief of Andrew O'Connor. Some controversy. They felt they were uh, owed the quick tap. Instead, we're getting a scrum there. I, I looked away. Uh, maybe there was a knock on him. Missed. Especially you can hold feet. Coach. 
There's Vandenberg. He's pulling away from the pack. His own pack, he's brought to ground now by Keffer. Keffer fighting to get to that ball. And now holding on to it, the call against Vandenberg. Quick tap. Oh, nearly a high tackle, and not nearly. It is going to be a high tackle. Whistle coming from Lozada. Much lower, much lower. So Wong wants to get that one into touch. That's a long way to go, but he gets it there. They'll have the line out, 30 meters out. Ball was not straight. So BC missing a shot there to have a good possession. Wolfpack will relish having a scrum in 15. Let's go, Let's go boys! Stand that scrum up again and reset it. Here we go. Shut up. Just a little to the left. Go on, boys. Go on. Let's back go. Back back. Thank you. <laughs> Coming in, Foster. Yeah. Yeah, Hold it steady till the ball. Yeah. Coach. Bind. Set. Hughes gets that in. Vandenberg, he's been dangerous. Pass to the inside center, Morrison. Frustration piling up for the Wolf Pack. They've lost possession again. Keffer to Wong. Bradley now. Keffer having a look, making sure his line is set, and then sending a charging flanker in the form of uh, Jason Hignell, the captain. And now, Keffer hit as he came out of the line. And Bradley taking it into contact again. Nine, get them up off their feet, get them up. Driving to the right of that ruck. Keffer goes right again, Wong. Oh, and double tackled is Jack Nyron. He pays the price close to the line. Now Nakai Penny charging for the uh, try line. And they've crossed the line, but have, hasn't been held up. <coughs> Keffer. Is he in? No. Wong. To Nyron. And there's going to be a conversation with the uh, assistant referee. Was he in touch? The flag is over there. Nathan Abdelnauer, the assistant referee on that side. Try given. So we've got ourselves a ball game here with BC scoring their first try of the game. Jack Nyron, the winger, getting a pass from West Wong about two meters out. And uh, he had Wolfpack players ready and waiting for him, but uh, he just got his body positioned nice and low. And as he was getting bundled into touch, he touched the ball down just prior to making contact with that flag.
Very important conversion here. If he makes it, that means uh, if there's a penalty on offer, they could tie it. And if they've got this seven point score line, but uh, if they miss it, then they're gonna need another try and a conversion to win it. Wong from the right touch line. Powerful kicker, but hasn't been extremely accurate. And that ball is gonna drift wide to the left. So he'll be disappointed. Tough effort. And it stays 10 to five with 13 minutes gone. So 17, almost 16 to go in this uh, second half. Nice high restart. Plenty of Wolfpack players getting there. That one off the Wolfpack and into the Bears. Keffer, Wong. Gino Paolella. May have some weather moving into our area again. Pick and drive for a couple. Now that's Bradley. He's gone four or five meters. Keffer to Wong. Miss out now. Going down the line. Wing on that side. Cathal Wong. Get back, get back. Long offloads, just as he tackled. Sean Hayes Get getting it. Oh, big tackles being put in on that far sideline. This is not two-hand touch. Sorry about that, folks. The uh, screen got switched over. We may have to bag up again there, so uh, Nash. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? Just saw a little flicker of lightning, which could bring a halt to proceedings. And they've played enough rugby for this game to count if they had to stop it. But it being the last game of the day, I doubt they would go that route. No, no. Okay, I'll get this guy back. Here's where your 10 is. That's where your 10 is. Yeah, it could be pushing to, uh, I don't know what direction that is, but off to our left anyway. A penalty given away by the Wolfpack here. This will make it okay. 10 okay. to 8. And uh, signs of life for the Bears. I just didn't want to Two points adrift now. Hey, no silly penalties. A penalty would put them in front, so... Wolfpack have to be careful inside their own half that they don't give away uh, too many more kickable penalties. Restart right at the 10. Nicely taken by the pack. That ball hung up there for an age and just timed perfectly. A drop ball coming into the line. The prop from the Wolfpack LaPlante. Spilled ball by Morrison. Not picked up by the referees. Spilled again. This time going the other direction. That's LaPlante. Oh, and jumping off over the line. That ball was out. Keffer. Wong. On the field now, Nick Collette. He has played fly half for the Bears in the past couple of games, and uh, is he going to slot into that 10 spot there? Make your own space, Black. Nice 
Bears picking and driving, being very precise. Didn't want to throw that ball around with abandon. Now it's Keffer out to Wong. Still playing at first five eights. It's gone to ground now. Keffer yelling some instructions to his back line. They're working in a defensive way. Pop back to the scrum half, use. Now trying to pull away from Keffer. That was Aaron Evason who scored one of the uh, first the first try of this game. I'll tell you what, I think we're going to get that rain okay, yet, Shane. Nice. You may see a, a bag coming over your camera view in a moment, folks, but uh, now Hughes has gathered that in from the loose situation. He's just that good. He got the camera back operational. Wolfpack desperate to get another score here. Put this one out of reach. Two points just doesn't feel like it'd be enough with 10 minutes left in this game. Uh, on the floor here, Shaner. Okay. Don't close your own gap. 10 to 8 is the score. John to Rugby Park back? getting a new scoreboard as part of the uh, hosting of this event. Back and uh, people are. discovering, hey, we got a scoreboard now. That's great. Off black play. That was Paul Gratton going up for it. Did not secure it. Accidental offside by the Wolfpack. The Bears will have a, a put in now. Hooker, hooker. Are you the guy? Blood, please clean this up, please. Time's off. Have water if you want. We're gonna give it one second here. Gonna have a listen to Lozada's instructions. Give another jersey by any chance. Hang on. In his hand, hand in his arms. Players get in. I thought I was bleeding out there. I had it all over me. Uh, so Much player better. was bleeding, and now okay. they're asking from the BC team to change jersey as uh, regulations. Let's go, boys. Okay, let's get up. To the left. That scrum is looking pretty messy. Keffer gets that ball out, but Wong can't find the handle. The Wolfpack, thankful for that. They'll take the scrum 
gladly. Penalty against the Wolfpack. Oh, big run. Seven minutes remain in this contest. Bears want to get to at least penalty territory, two points adrift. A penalty would help them now. Shaner, can you grab that uh, other bag for me there? Garbage bag? Oh, okay. Thanks. Here. Just going to cover up the soundboard here. All right. I think I'll finish my lunch later. <laughs> okay. Number five, we need them off. Yeah. So, for the third day in a row, we could be getting a little bit of weather thrown our way here in Saskatchewan. Just makes it more fun. We got the. Did we get a sub? <laughs> it's black ball. Uh, gold knocked it forward, and black just got driven into the 22, so we have black ball. Wolfpack, Vandenberg. Oh, big thundering shot. Wolfpack showing some tenacious effort here. Ball goes loose. BC wants it bad. Wolfpack carefully handling that ball. They cannot give away a penalty here late in this game. It could hand BC the lead if they're not careful. The wind picking up, oh, temperatures back, dropping. Back, back. As this storm front moves in, in the final minutes of this game. The Wolfpack, desperate to get to the line here. Not the Wolfpack, the Bears. Keffer keeps it. He's brought to ground. Heads up, 19! Yeah, not 10 before. Right there. That's good. Up the neck! Heads up, three! Every BC touch of the ball results in a huge tackle. And now BC giving away possession. 
Oh, and that's a try. Pardon me. So BC pulls into the lead. Thirteen to ten. And Wong with the very makeable conversion here. Flags go up. A five point lead. Can the Wolf Pack get it done in the last three minutes of this game? Conditions about to become filthy here, I think. Allen going into the line. Wong stepping through past Vandenberg. Wolfpack must steal that ball, get possession back, and go the other direction. Spilled ball, what they're looking for. Advantage being played. Advantage being played. And now that's O'Hallahan. No advantage gained. Certainly they'll come back for the scrum. Backwards, backwards, backwards all the time. Under pressure the whole time. Not when they're always under pressure. If it was two passes ahead of where it went, yes. But they're way back further than where we were. Big dramatic speech from the scrum half of the Wolfpack. Hughes urging his men on, saying we must take this. One and a half minutes left on the clock. This will be the last bite of the cherry, certainly. Fine. Set. Bears doing everything they can to disrupt. Hughes getting that ball back. The hooker. Coates eight, cleaning it up. Ball stolen. That was Gino Palella that did that. The outside center now, Phil Berna. Keffer to Wong. Wong delivering it to a trailing forward. And the ball is dropped and uh, BC player down behind the play. Twenty-nine thirty, gone from the clock. Two players, what? A wolf pack, yeah. scrum. Seventy meters between them and a try. Sorry, no one said anything to me. No one said anything. They might have saw it and deemed it not as bad as you did. <laughs> People looking nervously behind the building, which makes me nervous. <laughs> Pressure time now, Keffer trying to tackle that wolf pack back row. Hughes to the prop. LaPlante. Vandenberg. O'Hallahan from the fullback spot. Lost it forward. And a graceful run from Oliver White. Black lost it forward right here after he was And hit. that could be the game from the knock on there. No, they'll have time for the scrum. No, they won't, and that is full time. <laughs> the BC Bears 
hold on for a 15 to 10 win over the Prairie Wolfpack in a very entertaining Canadian Rugby Championship game. So that will do it for us here on uh, the second last day of operations here at Regina Rugby Park. Join us again for finals day tomorrow. And check the CanadianRugbyChampionship.com website for all the matchups. And we'll say so long for now from Regina.